don't know. Maybe. All right, I guess. What's up, everybody? Howdy. <laughs> Hello. Anybody have the link to the external chat? Maybe. I'll get it. Do you got a topic, Moonfood? I had kind of a topic to start out with, and it wasn't nothing big, but I was just noticing more and more uh, gun people in my area. And uh, there was a guy at the gas station the other day with a Suburban, and it had all these stickers, firearms. He had Taurus, Ruger. I don't know, just a shit ton of stickers. Oh, so you don't mean people just carrying in general? Yeah. I've been seeing of it more of it lately, so I figured. I mean, in the past year or so, and with all the people buying guns, I figured maybe the gun culture is growing. And YouTube is kind of helping that. I didn't know if any of you and any of you guys noticed, because it's kind of hard to see when you're like stuck in the the gun bubble. I guess you can call it. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm noticing them more just because I'm looking out for it more. Not noticing more in California. That's not America over there. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> leaving. Yeah. yeah, I don't have any decals on my truck. I'm kind of in two minds. If if I really want to advertise or not, the fact that <coughs> I don't want to be known as a gun guy, I don't want to, you know, send that invitation for somebody to just attempt to break into the car for no reason. Yeah, that makes sense. I got one Magpul sticker on my back window. But I don't keep uh, any mag pulling my car, so you don't go in there and steal my mag. Pull. <laughs> yeah, all I've got's a a Ducks Unlimited and a Team Real Tree sticker. I figure those are rather inconspicuous. <laughs> yeah, I don't rock any bumper stickers on my vehicle purely for that reason. I don't want to get profiled. Well, here in Pennsylvania. I don't know. They uh, pretty pro gun state. I mean, it's a blue state supposedly, but it's red, pretty much. I mean, those are just the the big cities. Maybe Pittsburgh and uh, Philadelphia getting the majority of the votes there. But the rest Hendon's of the state is red as shit. Shirt says. Yeah. Pro Same gun. Thing. I mean, I should say. What does your shirt say, Turtle? Mine. It's a five finger death punch. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hendon was wondering in the chat. Very nice. They kick ass. Yeah, well. I'm in Collin County in Texas, which is probably one of the most conservative places in the nation. Definitely a pro gun area. The area that I'm in right now is not really pro-gun, but uh, I'm I'm right on the outskirts of Philadelphia. So, but there's a lot. I mean, I guess some of Philadelphia's pro-gun. There's a lot of pro-gun people, but the majority of the votes, I guess, go to anti-gun Democrats, like the mayor. Anti-gunners and welfareists. Yeah, pretty much. All those egalitarians. Yeah, I guess there'll be one more on the roster carrying after I move. Oh. Uh. You're in California now, right? 
Yeah, I'm going up to Oregon. Screw that. I thought Maryland was bad. California's got to suck. Just for guns. Alright, guns are just the tip of the iceberg with California. Not to get too deep in politics, I dislike the fact that they cannot balance a budget to save their freaking lives. Aren't they losing a lot of people moving out of California because of the taxes and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, absent the people and the government here, California would be a beautiful fucking place to live, though. I used to want to move to California when I was a kid. <laughs> Before I knew about gun laws and such. <sighs> Make the kitty cat cry. Are they seriously requesting that? <laughs> I don't know. I was. Wow. Let me check that. <laughs> oh, Ashley does different things. That's random. <laughs> they can puke too. I don't know, this damn avatar is just so entertaining. He's pro gun, kitty. It's a kitty for freedom. Freedom, kitty. I've been talking for like two minutes and I just realized my mic's <laughs> muted. <laughs> I wonder way where you were. Way to go, salt pork. Yeah, I know. So, girlfriend came home. I uh, wanted to talk for a few minutes, so we talked, and uh, yeah, I muted myself both uh, in the software and hardware. My mic has a mute button, and uh, forgot to turn the mute button off. Whoops. TX Survival TV is asking for a link. Yeah, you can send them one. I forget who that is, but I don't know either. Uh, chat window slow again. YouTube sucks. Yeah. Okay. How's that for a banner? Freedom Kitty. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I forgot about mine. I Come on, professional. everyone. Banner's up. I want professional on me. Oh, no, damn, Ruskies! <laughs> Here comes trouble. <laughs> what the shit, Muslim? What's up, ladies? What up? What be shaking? Hold on, nothing. That was a pretty deep voice for a lady. What's up, ladies? Nothing. <laughs> I'm sexy. Yes. Yes, you are. Mm. Oh no. It's like if Yoda was a transsexual. It's a T Hawk So what's on the agenda for tonight, Moon Food? I was asking everybody if they noticed the gun culture growing, or is it just being trapped in the uh, gun culture bubble? 
so to speak, I guess. Around here, no, not so much. But well, you live in Jersey. Let's be yeah, honest. Exactly. This, everything's in a fucking bubble around here. I mean, there's been new shooters <clears throat> in my range, but there's always been new shooters in my range, and I don't see like a a difference really. Uh, there's I do a chat. see more and more people. I think it's becoming more lenient lately. I, I would say that people are slowly coming around and becoming more receptive to firearms. Mainly because it's not in the news all the time being cast in a negative light. So when there's no when there's less negative attention cast on it, people are not as shied away from it as much. Did anybody watch the Are You Ready For It video? I didn't watch it, but it's No, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to yet, no. Gun bill. Reintroduction or something. <laughs> watch your content anymore. <laughs> She's not too receptive to criticism. <laughs> no, no, she is not. No, I haven't had a chance, though, but I will as soon as I get a chance tonight. I will take out. So, Captain? I'm not the only Texan. Captain, join the chat. Welcome from Texas. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? <laughs> Alrighty, there's a question in the chat. What's your favorite ammo brand, or do you buy the cheapest? Spear. Right now, cheapest. <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty much whatever I can put my hands on. Other than that, I generally go with Federal. I like, that? I like Remington's rifle ammo. I don't care for their shotgun ammo. <clears throat> but their rifle ammo is pretty good. Spear handgun loads, yeah. and then either Rio or uh, Winchester AA shotgun loads. I don't know how safe that is. Hey, uh, Lars, <laughs> what do you use for handgun ammo? Well, Captain, I couldn't hear a word you said. I said, what do you use for handgun ammo? I don't own a handgun, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just figured I'd rub that in. I, I throw rocks. <laughs> hey, Kipton, how's that bald head of yours doing? Are you going to rub that in? <laughs> Didn't you have to actually <laughs> retreat in New Jersey? <laughs> yeah, we have a duty to retreat. And not throw rocks, right? Yeah, not yeah, in trouble. Throwing rocks is assault with a deadly weapon in that state. Yeah. My wife found me this Remington at Walmart. Fifteen bucks a box. Hey I Lars, I got a pistol for you. Oh me? really? Mm. <laughs> really? Mm. Mm. Despite the homoerotic tendency, here you go. It's a nice pistol. It is, and it is a pistol. It is. I know. Can't have it. But it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Can you conceal that, Saltport? I highly doubt it. <laughs> I am not coat? six foot trench eight. coat, man. <laughs> you need just a short shoulder sling, a trench coat, and like a 20 round mag. Now, yeah. actually, I have uh, YouTube monies coming pretty soon. So, um, <laughs> probably going to pick up a handgun as soon as I get the. All the paperwork filled out for it and shit. It's a, it's a Herculean effort to get a handgun in this state, but it's possible. I can't carry it, but I can own it. What are you going to get? I'm still torn between the uh, P95 or the SIG 2022. I mean, the SIG 22 is a lot more expensive, but. SIG. It's, it's, I would rather get the SIG, but it's an extra $200. So you're talking a difference between a $300 pistol versus a $500 pistol. It's a, it's a shame because it all it used to be like three eighty nine mm -hmm. last year. No, I know. I prefer the SIG, but it's a matter of what Rangers I can afford. Fuck, man. How, How much is okay the, with the P series? How much is the metal one though? Is that isn't that the polymer, the P ninety five? Yep. In fact, the gun store in which I picked this up from uh, today. 
Uh, I bought it online, did the transfer, blah, blah, blah. They actually had a, a brand new P95 in the box for 330 Pretty sweet. Yep. I would have picked it up. That's. Whenever I see a deal like that in a gun store, I just grab it. Oh, and then well, maybe if I don't like it, I'll sell it later. Well, I already have a P95, so I really don't want or need another one. But Get it locked. No, oh, fuck nah, you. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with lock? Fuck you. Not made, made, made in America. America. Made in America. Not America. Really, Austria or fucking yeah. yeah. Speaking of that, one of those commie countries, right? Commie yeah. uh, Austrian economics. The gun shop that I frequent just got a big shipment of Glocks in, and the guy told me they're mixed Glocks, uh, USA and Austria. Yeah, some are being made in the USA now. I'm going to head up there and see if they got a 19 or a 26 made in the U.S. Making them in Georgia. Well, if they're making them in Georgia, then fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I figured I would hold something up. Please don't work and tell me what it is and what it came off from. Kipton, we're hearing like every third word. I'm hearing every third letter. <laughs> your mic, your mic, your mic's having up a little tipped, and I can't really make out what you're saying. Yeah. I heard something about like my he's name. Gonna, he's and gonna hold, hold something up and, and ask you what it is. Pickle. It's a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. All right. Can you No. You're fired. Your microphone is not working. Try refreshing. That always helps me. Get a refreshment. I think Snowblind just called... I, I think Snowblind just challenged Sparkles to a fight. Yeah, what was that? They said, come at me. <laughs> come at me, bro. What's she doing? lift, bro? <laughs> Wait, no, where? What's up with that, the, picking uh, up girls? Oh, uh, Sparkles. Take pictures in the chat window, or... Uh, yeah, the chat window. Sparkles, Sparkles will put him in a... Oh, in the chat. Okay. He'll put him in a fucking sleeper hole and knock his ass out. I wouldn't mess with her. I want to see that on camera. Yeah, don't mess with those chat window warriors. I'd pay for yeah. some good money to see that. Take shit. video. I'm hearing all this feedback on my end. Yeah, I think you're... I don't know what kind of mic you have there, but it sounds like those I made a good connection. Like a broken wire or something. Hard to tell. Yep. A lot of, a lot of feedback and a lot of static on the line. Isn't that Krypton? You should have a chat one night entirely in Morse code. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should have a chat entirely in Word. What was that? Word. <laughs> word. <laughs> entirely in word, word or no word. <laughs> I'm thinking that he would do better if he did like a screen share and opened up a word processor and just typed. I did that once. When I could, <laughs> I, I, I had Christina over and she was sleeping, so I couldn't really talk. That was actually one of the most entertaining chats I have ever witnessed. Yeah, it was, it's easy shit. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up. Text document. There you go. Pull the text document. Make the font real big. And then uh, you screen share that shit. And it's, so if you have to... There you go. So you just do that. Mute my mic. <laughs> exactly. Works well. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Larsul.spreadshirt.com. 
that's probably really small in the uh, the window. <laughs> Moon food, you need to click on him so it's bigger. It is. Okay. The other night I noticed when we were complaining about uh, Jacobo's camera setup when it wasn't sticking on him, it actually was when I rewatched the chat. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah, that's always fun. Oh yeah. Okay, can you hear me now? What the fuck yeah. is Teamspeak? All right, for those of you watching who are Chat Window Warriors, there is a Teamspeak server running that you guys are more than welcome to join. To chit chat with other Chat Window Warriors whenever you want. The information's all on the Chat Window Warrior community page. Chat Teamspeak is a program that runs that speaks to a team, quote-unquote. But we're all uh, one big team, so just go join the uh, Chat Window Warrior community and look for the TeamSpeak info and join the server and chat with other Chat Window Warriors anytime you want. Keep in mind, Moses words, not mine, trolls will be taken out back behind the woodshed and shot. Oh, yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Troll, trolls will be handled immediately. Real trolls. The, you know, ones that actually... Troll people. And there's no video, but it's also like way better on resources than this bullshit. Oh yeah, there's yep. no video. It's audio only. But the thing is, you can have like, I the server, my server handles uh, 512, I think it is. 12. What was the last count? Yeah, 512 simultaneous connections. So you can have literally 5, uh, 512 people in the same room and talk. Good so, luck. Good luck with that. But. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the idea of TeamSpeak. So it's just another way for us to communicate without having the hang-ups of uh, the system where we can only have ten people. I mean, right now, the general comms has um, 14 people. So normally that would be impossible using the Google Hangout system. I mean, you have to have, like, two different chats going and, like, people jumping back and forth. Okay, so-and-so said this. Go back. Okay. Hello. We are coming from this channel. Over. Break. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Yep. laughs> There's a chat going on in this channel. Break. Received. Break. Received. Confirmed. Break. Can you hear me now? It's a 1940s chat. 1940s. Break. What a year. Sounds like Churchill. <laughs> Just a little. Winston Churchill fighting the commies. Turn off the Tesla lamp and see if that helps. No, that was, uh, that's, Moon Food's fine. It's, uh, Kipton has having the problem. The Tesla lamp. <laughs> Think it'll set off my ammo? Some I, set, static electricity? I, Doubt it. <laughs> Let's find stick out. Right, Move it closer. Stick, stick around <laughs> right on there. See what happens. Just let it sit on the top. Yeah. Go ahead. It ain't gonna do shit to it. Disclaimer: Don't throw your ammo in a Tesla coil. <laughs> that is not a Tesla coil. Of course, that's not a Tesla coil. But we were talking about Tesla stuff. So. Disclaimer, don't throw your ammunition on top of a Van de Graaff machine, either. Don't throw your ammunition. That's much better for a gun. That's probably a smart thing. Well, I've got a 50 BMG shell that I was planning to throw out of my car onto the highway while driving 70 miles an hour. So, I guess I won't do that since you guys tell me not to. What a waste okay. of a <laughs> Kipton is holding something up. That is something. Um Let me let me lock it on. What is it? Salt is a... It's a rear trunnion wire folder side folding stock. Sweet. It's a wire stock, it's a side folder, you can tell from the push pin. I just can't mm. tell Marty. Uh, which it came off of AMD 65, maybe? Can you hold up the other end of it? 
Well, if I held up the other end of it, you would know what it was. Okay. <laughs> but that is definitely a rear trunnion and a side folder. Yep, AMD 65. Damn, he's good. <laughs> you just got salt pork. Yeah, I got, got my moments. Porked. That sounds painful. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good. Mm, you got porked. So, here's my question. Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Yes. All right. Yes. I, sw I switched microphones. Good man. Uh, much more better. Yeah. Okay. So, here's my question, Salt Fork. A Yugo barrel on an AMD 65, what's the problem? Uh, is it already like a pre-cut Yugo barrel? Yes. And what length is the Yugo <coughs> barrel? I don't know. It's 14 something. Okay. Uh, the problem could either be with the gas port. The problem could be with the fact that most Yugo barrels are built for 1.5 millimeter receivers, which means their trunnion sizes are different. Trunnion size is the same. Okay, so trunnion is the same on it. All right, so in other words, the barrel width is the exact same as it mounts into the trunnion. Right. All right. Um, the gas port could be different. The cut spacing could be different, um, as in where stuff actually mounts up. Uh, <coughs> Your rifling shouldn't be different. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Um, your gas port doesn't fit on there. In other words, it would have to actually be uh, laid down. Yep, I've got to turn it down. Yeah. <clears throat> that would definitely do it. Which really sucks, because I've got to turn down just about everything. Except for, of course, the where it goes into the trunk. Yeah. So you're building so a in rifle. In other words, you're building a 65. Yep. And it, uh, are you going to build it as a pistol, an SBR, rifle? No, I'm going to build it as a rifle. Okay. With a 14-inch? Flash suppressor. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, you yep, pin yep, it, yep. right? Yeah, gonna pin the flash suppressor on it. About half tempted to just get a regular AMD 65 barrel. They're only 130 bucks. <sighs> yeah, they are, and that would be a whole lot less work for you because then everything would just kind of fit together. There's that one, Turtle, the Midwest Industries. Oh, that's pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah, that's the shape of the uh, cuts, I guess. A Z, I guess. Oh. Do you have, like, two or three around it? It's yeah. Like one either side. Uh, or... One, two, three, four. Goes all the way around. How much was that? 30 bucks. It's not bad. I can't, I can't remember why I paid I forget why I ordered this. I think mid, midway maybe. I'm, yeah, honest, I'm honestly just thinking about machining the AMD 65 uh, suppressor and uh, doing something funky with it. You know, custom. Oh, you definitely could. And that's one of the nice things about that setup is that uh. It allows for that if you want to do it. That's a Tapco turtle? Yep. I looked a few, but I think they're all pretty much the much. Yeah. I mean, it looks the same size as mine. Different yeah. holes. Yeah, I mean, the original one was just ass, but. Yeah, I still got the slant one. In the drawer, in the AK drawer. Yeah, we'll see how it performs tomorrow. Well, on Tapco's website, they have spiky ass looking one for the twenty bucks. The razor. Yeah, I looked at yeah. that one. It's got like four big spikes on it. Yeah. Like a harpoon, you just jab something. <laughs> 
Allegedly. I might have to try that one. Allegedly jab somebody. <laughs> wow, turtle, that was a really <laughs> shitty save. <laughs> Disclaimer. You could say uh, hypothetically. Hypothetically. There you oh. go. <laughs> <laughs> the comp on the front of my AR is all spiky like that. I yeah. see the one you got, the slot, slot muzzle device. Say again? The one you got, the slot muzzle device, fourteen ninety nine. Uh, Maybe. I really don't remember the price on that thing. That's not bad. Yeah, it slots it in the top, and it's got uh, three holes in each side. Yeah, I mean, some of them muzzle brakes can get up there to, like, $100 <clears> or more. Yeah, that's pretty insane. And I don't Arnold, know. Have you filmed that one at night? This? Yeah. No, I haven't fired it yet. Okay. When you do, is there any possibility you can shoot it after dark? Maybe. Okay. Can you videotape it? You want to see how big the flash is? I don't want to see how big the flash is. Are you kidding me? His neighbors won't let him fire at 5 in the afternoon. You think they're, <laughs> at, noon. at noon they're bitching. You think they're going to let him shoot it like after dusk? <clears throat> well, they can bitch all they want. They just keep sending the police over every 5 minutes. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a nice day. But, nah, 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 nah. Just say, I thought I saw a Sasquatch. <laughs> Sam Squanch. <laughs> Fucking Sam Squanch. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, officer. I was just firing my legally protected firearm. You send three squad cars, they nod nicely, and then they leave. All uh, right. Yep. I do want to show you guys one thing about this, which I found ridiculous. I did not know they did this when I picked this up. Right so, where she is. There. Can you see that little bright spot? See? Yeah. That is the spot weld that they attach the muzzle device with. I it. It. That's it. That's the whole thing. And underneath that is a typical AK thread. It's wait, it's it's threaded on and then they spot weld it? Yeah, they spot weld it on. <coughs> That's and it's stupid. a pistol. It makes no difference. Yeah, it I have no sense. idea why they do that shit. It drives me nuts. It's a nice little muzzle brake. I mean, don't get me wrong, but that is ridiculous. Yeah, you should um, be able to take it off. Yeah, I smacked it around with a, a rubber mallet, and I actually broke the weld off of the muzzle device. Nice. So... No, so I just that's gotta, still got a pin holding the uh, muzzle brake on, right? Like on the right thread. Uh, just a second. In in other words, what you're saying is you could tear up a muzzle brake with a with a rubber mallet. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I've got two boys that can tear up an anvil with a ball peen hammer. Sounds like work. That's just being bored for a couple hours. <laughs> Not, it ain't work for those two boys of mine. Yeah, exactly. They're just bored for a couple hours. And you have something, and they have a hammer in their hand. That's all it takes. Uh, so, no, Lars, how, how much more comfortable is that Magpul furniture than the oh, old insane. furniture? Oh, more comfortable. I put the I have the 28 inch barrel on it right now, only because I have to agree with Bama. I like it better with the 28 inch barrel on it. It kind of looks more badass. It's fucking sexy. <laughs> I still I still have the the 18 and a half inch barrel over there. I can put on if I need to. But I put two spacers. The Magpul comes with to make the the buttstock a little longer because it was yeah. a little short for me. And uh, yeah, it's it's comfortable as shit, man. I mean. <clears throat> I was putting, when I was at Turtles range, I put 15 buckshot, and my shoulder was, like, ready to fucking fall off. Went to the range just recently, I put 20 slugs, you know, one-ounce slugs down, and didn't feel a fucking thing. So this made a huge difference. And it's just the more comfortable to hold. Like, you better, you better this, like, pseudo-pistol grip it has on it. Yeah. It's just a That's better grip. That's what I liked. It's a better grip. That's cool. So... I actually thought it was out for the Mossberg, and I was just waiting. But uh, I went to go buy it, and it said coming the end of the year, 2013. Mm. Well, gotta it's, wait. It's pretty comfortable, though. I'll tell you that. 
of course, when I went to the I went to the range, guys were looking at me like, "The fuck is that thing?" And then they saw shoot. They're like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." <laughs> Because I plan on going pheasant hunting, and this is my pheasant hunting gun. And the you know guys who go pheasant hunting, they have their wood furniture, like over under fancy three thousand dollar fucking shotguns. And here I am showing up with a nine hundred dollar shotgun. And they're like, what? You gotta do the uh, the pigeon shoot. No, <laughs> they don't have that around here. Otherwise, I would. Yes, but uh, buddy of mine uh, has given me his old. Uh, Clay launcher because I'm I need to go practice shooting clays. Does it have a mag tube extension? Yes, it does. I have a two round tube extension on it, so it's uh six plus Seven. one. Six plus one. Yep. I could with the with the twenty inch barrel I could put a three round on there, but whatever. Or actually I could put it a six round on. <laughs> I could probably go all the way to the end and have like uh. What are you talking about? Another uh, 10 plus 1 if I really wanted to? Get like a really ass fucking long ass tube, but yeah, it's alright. There are a lot of, I've seen a lot of questions in the chat in earlier chats, and a lot of people in earlier chats asking if the 590, if you could add a tube extension to the 590, and yes, you can. Some. Just unscrew. Yeah, on some, I guess. I, I don't know which ones you wouldn't. I don't know which ones either, but the, the I think no, the 590 you can, but yeah. the, but the Mossberg 500 there's there's the 500 series. No. Some of them have just a thread there. There's like a, like a a bolt goes in. There's no, the tube is sealed off with a hole for a thread for a bolt. Yeah. So it's it, there's no tube extensions on some of the 500s. I'm not a big 500 buff, so I don't know but everything. This... The difference between, I guess, the 500 and the 590 is that absolutely, I don't think no 590 has uh, the dimples you got to file out or anything like that. You just unscrew this and add another one. The only reason they made this a 5 plus 1, I think, was because Mossberg was too lazy to make a tube for the 18 and a half inch barrel. So there's a lot of places that sell and make... Uh, they're machined out of full blocks of steel, like S and J will have a plus two that goes flush with the barrel. It's ninety nine dollars, but we'll see. But yeah, the five ninety you can put tube extensions on. They're not cheap. I think the cheapest one I forget who makes it, but it's like fifty bucks. I think Choke made this one. And uh, I was gonna get yeah, a yeah choke. It's fifty bucks. Yeah, I was gonna get a Remington one, but they were sold out, and the choke one was a little bit cheaper, and it's still blue. Uh, so it's blued steel, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, finding a Parkerized choke was kind of hard too. Well, th this is a blue. This is all yeah. blue steel, so that was gonna go Parkerized, but mine's Parkerized. So if anybody out there. Listen. Yeah, I, I don't normally recommend uh, tactical furniture, but on an 870, this <laughs> mag bullshit is actually very comfortable to hold. I do recommend it for those of you who actually like shooting shotguns often. Lars is coming to the dark side. No, because <laughs> I am never going to be an idiot and put out... You can admit it. it don't, there's no, no I'm shame. not anything. I got this because <laughs> of necessity, not because I want to feel like tactical badass, Billy badass, weekend warrior, G.I. Joe bullshit. Yeah, I'd go with a shorter Either barrel way. on it, but I like it otherwise. Either way, it looks cool to me. Well, I do have the shorter Tactical barrel. Cool or shorter, not. The shorter barrel is awesome for the maneuverability and and, uh, and um, just the portability of the firearm. But the longer barrel, when I was at the range, I tried both, and just the just the difference in accuracy, especially out of a shotgun. The twenty-inch barrel is going out past twenty feet or something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing, like, literally within the same room, yeah, short barrel's fine. But past 20 feet, you're like, eh, eh, might want a couple more inches on that barrel. But, yeah. No, the, 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 um, the problem I have with the wood furniture on the shotgun, the original, the, the original foreign grip, my hand kept sliding off the fucking thing. So this one has a little lip on it that catches your hand so it doesn't slide past it when you're trying to rack it. But that's about it. 
as far as putting a, a quad rail on a Mosin, but that's <laughs> did I touch a nerve? No. Turtle, how would you feel about putting um, about putting walnut furniture on an AR-15? Yeah, no. <laughs> well, there you go. The way you feel about putting walnut furniture on an AR-15 would be the same as putting a quad rail on a Mosin with, the gun. Which sucks. It's like Jesse James is... What, wait, wood sucks? I've been playing wood is I, want, I, want, I want to hear this rationale from our fellow British immigrant here. Explain to me, turtle gunners, just the words of wisdom that come from you, why wood furniture on a gun sucks. Because. Waiting for an answer. There it is. Waiting for an answer. The, the, the polymer is lighter, it's harder. It's, it's lighter. It's just, did, it's, you know the it's, it's Did you know the Magpul furniture on this shotgun <laughs> is heavier than the wood furniture comes with by default? Are you using the metric system there? So no, no, no. Seriously. <laughs> the weight of the stock <laughs> and the four-end furniture is heavier by a half a pound. A half a pound heavier than the wood furniture comes with. Yeah, that polymer gets heavy. There you go. It's, oh, it's half a pound of badass. Really? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the black. It should help with the recoil. <laughs> he knows I'm yanking his chain. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, I, I ordered a, uh, <clears throat> I ordered an Archangel stock for my 9130. Oh, what a dumbass. Even <laughs> I wouldn't do that. There you did. <laughs> what a pot of crap. I'd rather I stick want, with the I wood really than the Archangel. I really want to find somebody with one so on April, like next year on April 1st, I could just say, hey everybody, look what I bought. And they'd be like, <laughs> like the heart attack across the internet. It's not even the stock is the problem, it's the magazines, I understand. But, uh, you you, you if want you, me to save one and send it to you, Lars? <laughs> so, we could sh so we could shoot it at the range? I'll shoot, I'm going to go shoot this Mosin. Really? Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. And then I put the Mosin on the fucking stand and just start shooting into the fucking Archangel stock. <laughs> Peace. I shot the Mosin. What? Okay, well, I was I was offering to send you one, like, in a box, but I wanted it back. But if you're going to shoot it, forget you. No, I won't shoot you. If it's someone else's gun, I won't shoot it. If it was my gun, I'd fucking shoot the shit out of it. We might throw it on a campfire like we did My Little Pony. I wouldn't do well, that. Although, from what I've seen... I don't believe probably, in abusing any firearm. I don't care who makes it. I don't care what it looks like. I don't from abuse what, From what I've seen, I could probably let Lars Zool shoot at it, because like he's going <laughs> to hit it anyways. Right. You know, Turtle was there when I was shooting this M44 at his range. And what was that you said, Turtle? Broadside of a barn inside of it? Really, Turtle? I, I think it was two barns glued together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Wait>. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Turtle was there. He saw me shooting that thing. They're pretty accurate rifles. M44 from 100 yards away, iron sight standing. I hit that fucking iron plate every fucking shot. Dead center nuts. Are you doing the iron plate crack. had nuts? Yep, had nuts. Right in the nuts. That's what I aim for, Kipton. I aim for the nuts. Why make it a killing blow? Just wreck his sex life. Gotta start somewhere. Work the way up <laughs> like a zipper. I aim for the nuts. <laughs> Pippi Glockencake. Best name ever. <laughs> <laughs> Pippi Glockencake. Alright. I'll bite. She's a Chapman of Aura. We are assuming it's a she. Like it is. Jenna yeah. Turtle Seed? Oh. Yeah, you don't want to get those emails. <laughs> <laughs> I can vouch for that. Hey, Goodbye, Pippi just needs to get a mic and join all these chats. So
so what's new with anybody? Anything? <laughs> uh, yeah. The gun channel. These IO mags that come with this gun fucking suck balls. IO These mags? These things are junk. In their ordinance? Yep. What's wrong with them? I mean, other than they're junk. Like, what, they, why specifically? Uh, they are cheaper plastic than the Tapcos. Really? Yeah. Which, I have a Tapco right here, and by the way, even these don't fit into uh, that hell pup. So, they, they are trying to reduce mag wobble extremely. Um, all my Millsert mags fit in it, but these things don't even, they, they will not load. And it's because of the cheap lug system that they use. That's the lug right there, and it's not recessed enough back here, so it won't even hook correctly. Really? Yeah, Dude, it's Dremel. Dremel. Dremel! I'm not going to Dremel these things. I'm probably just going to throw them away. That's how I feel about the 10-round magazines that I got to be California legal for my AR. Yep. They'll make a good target. <laughs> and before I interrupted Lars, he was actually saying something useful. No, I was saying, I, said, I, sh I shut down my gun channel. That's all I said. That, Moonfoo was asking what was new, and that's the only thing new for me, really. I got an AMD 65 kit in the mail today. All right. I got home from work and took a nap today. <laughs> I got 40 rounds of 223. Whoa. What about that uh, 223 that uh, Systrex posted? I was about That's to order wolf. 10 boxes. So what? I don't know. I'm paranoid about steel case. Yeah, fuck that. I'll shoot it. I was supposed to get a new chest rig from Special Operations Equipment today, but FedEx screw up with delivery as usual. UPS, whatever they are. That's the one with the Hello Kitty design on it? Yeah, yeah, in OD Green. Oh, nice. OD Green, not black. What's wrong with you? You feeling okay? <laughs> You're right? I'm going to have one for every occasion. All right. Well, actually, my I do have a... Uh, OD Green uh, 511 tag vest, and I, I I gave it tiger stripes with black spray paint. Oh, homemade camouflage. All right, all right. Uh, Turtle, I have to ask you a question now. Yeah. One for every occasion. What is your formal chest rig, and what does it look <laughs> like? <laughs> well, I'm going to a wedding. I need to take hey. an AK. Yeah, I I I break out the white one. It's got a suit. Yeah, thought, yeah, it's yeah. got a suit and tie painted on it. Yeah, I have, I have Molly, Molly, uh, pals on the inside <laughs> of my suits. So I guess. Okay. This is the only tactical gear I own: a bandolier <laughs> and a uh, belt uh, belt pouch for ammo. That's it. This is this is as tactical as I get. Fifty rounds of Mosin ammo right here. That's uh, mid 1900s tactical, right? Ready to rock and roll. This is made um, by Strikehard. Strikehardgear.com. This is tactical as I get. I let my kid wear it for Halloween. It's a vest. There you go. I don't ever wear it for anything. Really. And I don't have any of that. Go to the bank wearing that. See how they react. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk in. But have nothing but Snickers bars in it. And like, <laughs> and like candy. <laughs> Man, I'm like a Snickers and hit, ah! fucking freak out. It's I great. bought that for fun. I had no intentions on using it. I heard people talking about tack vests last night. Yeah, gotta be prepared. You... As as tactical as I get is what attaches to my horse's saddle. Yeah. What attaches to it's not my saddle? Shit hit, so my shit hits the fan rig. I don't even have one of those. My shit at the fan rig is a is an OD green army jacket, bandolier, a backpack, and a gun. And then 44. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you laugh, motherfucker. That's it. When you're sitting there trying to clean out a gas system, fucking Christ, it's all fouled up. I'm like, what? 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 Uh, oh, you, oh. I'm. What, would you like me to get this deer for you? All right, hold on. Mine still shoots. Mine still fires. You know, yours is covered in mud, and now it's like, oh. I'm just going to pull out the zombie mosin. That's a yeah. video you never did for your gun channel, did you? 
shit hits the fan rifle, I'm 44. I did. No, I did. I did? No, I talked about, you know, how it doesn't have to be the M4, any bolt action rifle. I, I just like, I just think bolt action rifles are more reliable. Oh, yeah. In general, well, for the sure. most reliable. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter what it is. I just happen to have that one. I mean, if it was any carbine length bolt action rifle, will do. Because the ammo is powerful enough to take down anything in North America, and it's easy to work with, and you don't have to worry about gas systems and all that other horse shit and piston yep. systems and. And all the two or all the tools you need to work on the gun is on with the, the gun, gun in yeah. a little pouch that weighs like a quarter of a pound. Yeah. Here, here's here's the to- all the tools I need to fix the gun. And whatever's not in here is on the gun. This is it. Like that's all I need, which is essentially a screwdriver <laughs> and a headspace gauge. That's it. In here. That's it. That shit goes... Yep, and for those of you who don't know, if you really want to get minimalist with a Mosin, it's that tool right there. That's it. That's it's all you the need. screwdriver and headspace gauge in one. That's nice. all you need. You put that in, like, in your back pocket. You're fine. <laughs> yep. Put it on your I hit the sling. You don't need keys and shit hits the fan, I guess. Do I own an AK? No, I do not own an AK. And I will not own an AK or an AR as long as I live in New Jersey. Because I have to buy gimped, shitty versions of them, and I refuse to spend full price on a, on a rifle that has to have the fucking barrel milled. It's being neutered. Yeah. yeah. Screw that. Like, if I'm going to spend the same amount of money you're going to spend on the same gun, but my gun's defective because it has shit ground off the barrel, no. I'll wait till I live in a free state where I can buy the actual firearm. And then I'll probably buy an AK. Yeah, my brother-in-law bought a M&P 1522 from in Jersey. I have no idea why, but his stock is pinned open. Yeah, it's fucking. It's, asking me, how do I get the pin out? It's like you gotta drill that shit out. Yeah, it's stupid. Okay, I'm since everybody's showing their tactical gear, I'm gonna show mine. This is the most tactical piece of gear I got. Is that a camel pack? No. A med kit. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I've got my bug out bag. That's about as tactical as I get. My med <laughs> kit. And Kipton, by the spell? way, the reason I knew what you were holding up, what does that look like? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I have more than one of these kits. <laughs> so. My med kit's simple. It includes a, a needle and thread and a stick of crazy glue. That'll work. Well, I was a combat lifesaver, so I keep a med kit handy. Didn't that originate during Vietnam? Super glue? Crazy glue? Would I buy an AK over an AR? Yes, I would. (coughs) Yes, I would. I would buy an An, AK over an AR. An an AK over an AR? That would be like a double barrel shotgun? Over under AKAR? What? We'll call it the Joe Biden <laughs> special. There you go. Take an AK 47 and tape it to the top of an AR. <laughs> so, in the early 2013 gun debate, what, what round was more evil? <laughs> Which round was considered more evil? I think the AK was considered more evil by appearance because it's associated with terrorists. Yeah, but, we'll put the AK in between. But the as far as the round goes, the two two three is like the evil round that puts holes through entire buildings with one so, shot. Yeah, the shiny one is like the devastator. This is the baby killer and <laughs> baby, cop killer. <laughs> baby cop killer. Baby cop killer. The shorter one with the steel case is the seven six two by thirty nine. That's not as talked about as much as the the baby killer. But it's still evil. This one, on the other hand, is is pretty good. The big giant one, seven six two by fifty four R. It's my favorite round. That one's all right. Oh, that one's that one's nice gentle. And, yeah, it's gentle. Oh yeah, this this it's one. A this gentle one's giant. Like a pillow this one lulls it's a gentle you. Gentle giant. 
Yeah. It just lulls you to sleep, and it hits you. It actually just puts you in a, um, a light sleep. It, it, it puts you into a zen-like state. Yeah, it, joke, it gently strokes you. Uh, yeah, it goes... Yeah. It hit, when, it, when, it, when, it, when it careens into your skull... It just taps you. It, it surrounds the brain to a gentle cloud of love. It, goes, it, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> yeah. It puts you into a torpor. A gentle cloud of love. It sings a lullaby. Yeah. It sends you to Equestria. Yeah. Yeah, this is thing, My Little Pony. Sure, it pierces through car doors with authority, and sure, it'll render most meat into chop meat upon impact. But when it hits a human target, it knows to like just rest and cr and it actually heals wounds. It heals already existing wounds. So if you have somebody who's hurt, just shoot them in the wound. Fixed. Wow. <laughs> nice. Never happened. Yep, You're and that's what makes it smart yeah. gun technology. Yeah. You're you're telling me the 54R cures cancer? Yeah. It does. And it is. <coughs> That's because it's rimfire, right? It's a yeah, it has to be the rimfire 54R. <laughs> yeah, if you, it, well, actually, all 54R is rimfire, all right? Okay. There's a myth out there that 54R is center fire, well, and it's not. It's rimfire. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as this one. <laughs> I'm waiting for something to go, wait, what? I think the sarcasm is lost on their audience. <laughs> yeah, well, they were there. What are you talking about? No, there's a... What are you talking about? I see the primer yes. right there. What you... There it is. No, that's not, that's not a primer. That's 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 that's, 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 that's the lull button. That, no, oh, yeah. That, that, yeah, that's the button that tells you it was made in Russia. So what you do is you what you do is if you want to turn on the lethality part of it, if you want to make the bullet lethal, what you do is you smack that bit with the uh, you get like a little pin, just tap it, and then the now the bullet's lethal, no no more lulls them to sleep. But you, but you have to hold it firmly in your fist. Yes. I thought that, that little dot in the center was simply for alignment. <laughs> Matt V brings up a really good point in the chat. He says the 54R is a hunting caliber, therefore no one could ever kill people with it. You're absolutely right. Unless you're I hunting mean, people. Sure, the Germans invaded. No, no, Russia assault rifles were made for hunting people. There's laws for that, right? Sure, sure, there was that whole yeah, no German hunting people. I forgot about of the murder. Russian Empire and the largest standing army in, in human history shooting Germans with that round, but. You could go either way with it. It was a reenactment. It, yeah, it was. It was more as a. It was like a pantomime. They were just pretending to shoot Germans with it as a sign of like it was like interpretive art. Yeah, it's like when you argue with your lady, but not really. Yeah. Yeah. For the makeup sense. The, the fifty-four yep. sounds way too gentle. I think I'll stick with the fifty-one. Yeah. Yeah. It. It's but um. Yeah, this killed a lot of Germans. A, a lot of them. Uh, oh, it, it, so it's a, so so it's a it, it's a racial killing bull. It is. It only kills Germans. True. It only kills Germans. Like if you shoot any other nationality, it just harmlessly passes through them and lulls them to sleep. Germans, they just explode. <laughs> nice. I guess it's the silver tip. Hey, wait a minute. That's why they put silver tips on them. Mmm. There we go. Hey, Germans are werewolves. <clears throat> Germans are werewolves. Got it. Mystery solved. You know, you know considering, my, because, considering my considering my mother-in-law's from Germany, I can vouch for that. She's a werewolf. <laughs> Hold on, it's because aliens. That's why. Yep. It's, it's all all Germans. Whether or not they act like werewolves, even even the little Germans, the little ones, the dead ones, the old ones, they all still have that crazy German werewolf blood. In them. Yep, absolutely. So, we were searching for the artifact. Everything I'm saying is 100% true, and <laughs> you shouldn't even bother looking it up. Yep. Unlike that absolutely <laughs> ridiculous, brutal, and lethal 2 2 3 round. Not only can it shoot through buildings, it'll come over and slap your mom. Actually, when you shoot someone with a 2 2 3 round, anyone who carries any DNA with them dies wherever they are in the world. Oh, oh that, it's kind of like the, the kind of like killer. It just kind wipes kind out like, entire family lines. Kind of like the 1911. You shoot somebody with it, and they disappear into a cloud of smoke and a. You shoot of somebody cards. with a 19. Wait, Kipton. Now you're getting absurd. You shoot somebody with a 1911. They literally implode into a singularity. <laughs> yep, they go One from being a person a, is already a singularity. Like a coin-sized piece on the floor. <laughs> 
floors. What if the person is already a singularity? It creates another. It creates a wormhole, and you don't do that. All right, I'm I'm actually offended you bring that up now. <laughs> we have people watching, and the last thing we do is give them terrorist threat ideas, like creating black holes in the like, urban areas. Also, <laughs> hey, 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 we are we are about to be on the forefront of time travel here. Look, look, look. Do look, you look, understand? <laughs> look. I don't know what kind of chess you're used to, Bama, but we like to keep things here peaceful. All right? Down to earth, like realistic. Yeah. Yeah, realistic, okay? I'm sorry, it's the evil kitty avatar. All right, so, like I said, when you shoot people within 1911, they turn I'm... into black holes, and that's what happens. So, I mean, the 1911 is quite clearly the most powerful gun ever made. I will say that there is a secret to time travel, and I'm going to tell everyone here on the panel tonight. You get yourself an old Casio like keyboard guitar. Okay. The ones that are child sized, you know, purple and pink <laughs> from the eighties. You break that thing open and you manage to trap the singularities created by people shot with nineteen elevens. You put a nine volt battery in between two of them, you run one to the positive terminal and one to the negative terminal, and then wires on the other side. You <laughs> stick that in there, and then you start playing chopsticks. Yes. <laughs> and when you get to the... Dun, 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 you disappear. Yep. Where you end up... Tom Hanks there. Yes. Sweet. You will go back to 1985. Uh, Hades Dillinger asks in the chat, yes, but which one has killed more Muhadin, though? Yeah, but which one was fired at more Muhadin, though? No. That's like saying more people are killed in shallow water by sharks than deep water. Yeah, because more people are there. If 54R was still being fired at the uh, the Muhadin, then that's different. They don't really. I don't think. I don't I, think the, I the still U.S. Still uses the 54R. R at, I still fire 54R at all Muhadin. I see. Yes, yeah. that's true. Although so, you know, the, the Mujahideen actually probably were shooting 54R. Yeah, they were so, shooting it at us. That's, that's how I got were, it. Don't you remember? It didn't do me any harm. I just picked it off my skin yeah. after it cured my lung cancer, and I shot it back at well, it. Well, actually, it's <laughs> when, you, when they shoot the 54R at you, can catch it. It's so slow. You literally just pick, pluck it out of the air like candy. And when you see play it, frisbee with it. Cotton yeah, candy. they play frisbee, all kinds of games. Yeah, that's, that tastes that's like why, candy, too. That's why the Mujahideen had so many problems until uh, uh, they got a bunch of AKs, because they weren't, they weren't fighting any Germans. How could they kill anybody? Absolutely. Everybody was just going to sleep and waking back up happy. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, ah. <laughs> and it, was it was really bad, because they had to put them to sleep one day, and then they'd have to put them to sleep the next day, and then the next day. That was just so much work for them. Matt, Matt, v, why, Matt V, why would anyone ever hunt with something as powerful as a 223? We are better than this. You're right, Matt V. <laughs> You're right. We are what better we people. We have Everyone, to give our game a fair chance. So you should go back to the with sharp sticks. Shooting a deer with 223 is like shooting a mouse with a cannonball. Please, people. <laughs> Please. Yep, you'll only get like a quarter of a pound of untainted meat. The rest of it just explodes. Into like just what's wrong with shooting a mouse with a cannonball? Nothing, the... but if you want to eat the mouse, <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't hunt for sport. We hunt for food. And we don't hunt for who food. We hunt for explosions. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Got to feed all the carry on. <laughs> yeah, buzzards gotta eat just like the worms. This is actually the more evil five five six. Ooh, oh, hold oh, on yes. now. Let's. Because it's. Oh, look at that it's super that's evil military. That's, that's no, a military. You need to put room. on some special hand doing gloves I, before you touch that. Uh, room. It will those, give you right. prostate cancer. <laughs> Aren't those illegal? Shit. That's a ban. I still find it cute next to the fifty four R though. They're a cop killer. Cop I still, killer I still think it's cute sitting next to the fifty four R, and that's like. It is. Super evil, right? Oh, but look. Oh. <laughs> oh. Size matters. What about TV that one that goes TV into that TV. evil assault rifle, the 1022? Oh, this that. one? Holy shit. This <laughs> one has killed more people throughout the world. See, yeah, actually, you one. laugh. This rifle right here. Probably very true. This rifle right here is one <laughs> round short. It is. Short. This rifle right here is one round short of being an assault weapon. 
load up shorts in it, and it is. Shh. <laughs> yep, which is the stupidest fucking law ever. Wait, wait, wait. Laws has another black gun? <coughs> what am I missing here? It's a, See, it's a, a, point, it's a two, it's a Marlin 60. <laughs> yeah. It comes and, in wood and, and, and black, and I didn't buy it. Somebody bought it for me, and it was free. So as much as I rag on Lars, here's my wooden bolt-action rifle. I do That's not a, a wooden bolt-action rifle. That is a Mosin the Gaunt motherfucker. You get your, <laughs> you show some respect. This is the Marlin yeah. 60 with the squirrel handle. Okay. Nice. 99% of my collection may be tactical, but I do own a Mosin. It's a very oh, nice. In fact, I own a couple. Lars just doesn't approve of the other one. <laughs> the other one is an abomination. It should be destroyed. <laughs> just that the other one's an abomination and should be restored to its former glory. It says awesome. the, uh, just that respect for the millions of dead Russians fighting Germans. <laughs> it's more like an AK or a 10.22 type charging handle. You're that's, a, that's a 60? That's yeah. a 60. That's the oh, yeah, that's the same bolt. The same bolt one, yeah. It's actually... Uh, 1978 model. Ooh, so it's a Glenfield? Yeah, it's a Glenfield. Nice, man. Yep, I got a few of those myself. 5.56 five, is more radioactive than Chernobyl. <laughs> what are you doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> Chernobyl. Yeah. My people were not very good with reactors. Fuck you, Shima ain't got shit on 223. Your people? I thought that you were half WAP. Who? What? <laughs> Bama? I thought that you were half WAP. No, and quarter WAP. That... Quarter WAP. Okay. Quarter WAP. Quarter WAP? I'm, I'm half Ukrainian. Ah. Quarter WAP, quarter Greek. Yep, your people. You half people. Ukrainian. <laughs> yep, my my Ukrainian brethren were not wise in their reactor use. You're, okay, so so in other words, the Italian and Greek in you is what made you not turn into a potato by the time you turned thirty. Yes. Okay. I take offense to that being a Mick. <laughs> I'm Scottish. What's wrong with potatoes? Welsh, Welsh, Welsh. Isn't every Amer I haven't met an American yet that doesn't claim to be half Scottish, half Irish, half. I have no <laughs> not or Scottish, zero. I'm Turtle, Scottish. now you met two. I'm one really of the so I'm at war with myself. <laughs> Man versus himself in this body right here. Whoa. I don't know. Every St. Patrick's Day, you all come out of the woodwork. <laughs> I fucking hate that. Holiday. I don't celebrate any. Absolutely hate any it. ethnic holiday because I'm a fucking mutt. I hate Saint Patrick's Day. I have no Day identity because I'm a Protestant. Saint, well, yeah, yeah, Protestants. Not a big fan of Saint Patrick. <laughs> I like corned beef and hash and beer, but I don't like Saint Patrick's Day. Now Saint Patrick pisses me off because every knucklehead's like, I have an excuse to drink now. Just drink. You're an adult. You don't need an excuse. Yep. It's an just excuse to drink green beer. My beer is too. green. You yep. didn't realize that you can go buy food dye and do that any day of the week, right? I don't, I don't know why they're not drinking red beer on Christmas. I work with Orange a guy beer on Halloween. who goes out every holiday and gets shit-faced, and then the next day comes in like hungover, and I'm like, why do you do this? It was Because it was St. Patrick's Day. That's what you do. I'm like, no, that's what you do. <laughs> you're an idiot who can't make up his own mind, has no willpower to fuck. Why? Because it's St. Patrick's Day? You have to drink? Is there some law I'm not aware of? Yeah, I like these traditions that people keep and they don't even know why they're doing yeah. it. Well, my yeah. favorite are the people who are of paganistic religious descent, yet they support St. Patrick's Day. I'm like, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. He was a the snake side of Ireland was not, it was a metaphor. It wasn't literal. <laughs> Guess who the snakes were? Idiot. The druid? Uh-huh. Oh. And by that you mean Druish, right? The Druish. Yes. That's all we need. Yeah, Druish. <laughs> Keep firing, assholes! <laughs> I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. I am. Hmm. Look at these guys. I'm fucking cat to my right. Alright, where's the tactical yeah. kitty cat with I'm an asshole? Kitty.
Kitty. Oh, wait, we're way. live. We shouldn't do that. Kitty. Other way, Lars. I'm an asshole. I'm actually not pointing the right way. I don't give a fuck what you guys see. Perception. Get off. Percent reality, and in my reality, I don't give a fuck what you guys see. Get off the short bus. Kitty. Hey, quit fucking P2S. Look, I'm living life in the subjective reality. You can live life in an objective reality, or so you think, but your subjective reality could be wrong and mine's right, so fuck you. Since we talked about St. Patty's Day, Kitty, would you do an honorary vomit? In hey, it's green. green. You can't there see we go. in the way. <laughs> the little earth in the way, but it's green. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weirdest fucking option for a program, like... Would you like to have a kitty face that can oh, get to catch fire. fire and vomit? Sure. <laughs> <Exactly>. Right. <laughs> and track your <laughs> eye movements. Strongbow, what's up? Oh, bad. Check it, check it, the email. What's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Where you been? He's muted. Talking, talking to himself. He's muted right now. I'm sure he's setting up. You're muted. You're still muted. Still muted. Really low. I can hear it really, really low. low. Oh shit! We can barely hear you, buddy. Don't hear us. What, what is it with these guys with the broke ass mics? No, no right? right? Yeah, this fucking the fuck is tin can and the string is yawning. Hello, I'm speaking up, from way in Texas. <laughs> Kipton here. Kipton with his microphone, which is a tin can and a string. Hey, that's Canada. Them too. Optimistic. Don't know what's up, Strongbow. Uh, look at the side chat. Oh. Oh, yeah. I thought his camera looked different. Yep. I wonder if his Mac is giving him trouble, too, because Hosh has his in for the in the shop right now for some unknown problem. How's that? Can you hear me now? Very oh, loud. Oh, my lord. Scale it back a bit. Are you in a wind tunnel? Scale it back. <laughs> How's that? That's good. good. Way better. better. Way better. Perfect. Little low, but pretty good. It's fine. I can hear what he's. I can hear what he's saying. What's wrong with your uh, the computer there, Strongbow? Oh, I'm on uh, my laptop. It's it's not a Mac. It's a Linux laptop. No, I know, I know. But what, what your normal computer normally where you sit? Are you in on on a trip or a vacation or some shit? No, I'm still sitting where I was sitting all day while I worked, and just haven't gotten off that machine. Oh, gotcha. I worked from home today, so... And I'm still yeah. working, actually. I just worked after hours, so I can do other stuff, too. Fair so, enough. yeah, and this thing's only got, like, a 1.3 megapixel camera, so if I look shitty, that's why. Well, the look shitty part, that's nothing new. Kipton! What? Kipton! Oh, I'm not me. Kipton! <laughs> no, wait, Kipton! You are not exactly what I would call calendar material. <laughs> you are what we would say pot, have a meat kettle, kettle, meat pot. In fact, I would say, Kipton, that if I if I had a daughter, I'd be afraid she'd be afraid of you in a dark alley because you look like someone who has a candy cane and a van. <laughs> Besides, Kipton, I will have you know I keep all my lollipops in the basement. Next to the rope and the duct tape. I got it. Okay. What's up, Strongbow? I said, besides, us Texans need to stick together. Well, you... All right, I'm not going to go no, down. Okay, wait, does that, that mean joke? that Kipton took Stone Guy's course? No. No. Uh-uh. Okay. No. Okay. Uh-uh. That was like a... Yeah. Creeper that was like 101? A, that was like a one-time joke. And I was just playing off from Larzul. God, don't put me in that category. Oh my god. Yes, Justin. Skip in likes little him. girls. <laughs> <laughs> Buy wall bonds. <laughs> Lucky strike. <laughs> Kipton last seen at Stone Guy's house. Sharing notes, I suppose. Some so's. Suppose. <laughs> Sub nose? Kipton doesn't understand the English language. Maybe he's a commie. <laughs> Consulting with those reds again. I'll do my 40s music playing when I do that. 
It puts me in the mood. Give a little phonograph crackle in the background. Yeah. Actually, I can do that with my camera. I find the... Sepia filter? Yeah, sepia filter, and I think I have a film grain effect I can put on the camera and then, like, put some 40s music and shit. That'd be sweet. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> and I got the microphone that looks like it. This just in from the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Little Timmy's doing his part. I could do that. That's the best I could do right now. I should do more post. No, that's poster. This one. I'll do black and white. Okay, black and white. This just in from the wall. Little Timmy is doing his part by confessing that he is not a commie. However, his neighbors have been under suspicion for some time. Brought to you by Dapper Dan Hair Products. Oh, Dapper Dan. I don't want fuck. Damn it. I'm a Dapper Dan man. I'm a Dapper Dan man. Are you a Dapper Dan? Okay. Strongbow is drinking. This cannot be a good night. Is that a Coca-Cola? No. Good Shiner. Mo. Shiner what? Bach. Shiner Bach. Oh. <laughs> Shiner. Best Ooh. parts of Texas. Wait, Rebecca, set up my new router. Time for spicy chicken. I have no idea what those two things have to do with each other, but I'm gonna take her word for it. Router. Hey, Hades still makes spicy chicken without a router. That's a spicy router. Katie Stillinger says that he saw Stone Guy on To Catch a Predator last week. <laughs> why don't you sit down, Stone Guy? Have a seat. Would you like a cookie? Yeah, you know why you're here? You know she's 14, right? At a certain point, uh, that news reporter would just be like, okay, all right, this is your fifth visit. Come on, man. Come on. Really? we got to do this again? Do I get a free sub at 8? No. <sighs> Got by then. Did you send out tactical bacon yet? <laughs> no, I haven't done that video. So <laughs> Instead, I decided to uh, edit the Ed's Red video. Because I've been sitting on it far longer. Can't wait for cooking with salt. Oh yeah. Did uh, you do a chat the other night? Did you do the question chat? Up on that. Did you do that question chat the other night? No, or was this coming Thursday? Oh, okay. I fell asleep like 8:30 last night. I'm still fun around doing a chat tomorrow after my insult. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I am. What is that, Kip? That's an AMD 65. Yes, it is. Looking good, is. man. I really just don't like that. Sorry, every time Backwards. I hear AMD, I only think of, like, computer processors. Same here. Same. Your AMD 65. Is that, like, some new processor that they put out or something? Oh, it's a gun. Fuck. All right, yeah. Yeah, dude, nobody likes that, that forward grip. So, nobody. I've never met anyone who's just like, oh, this is the most ergonomic, comfortable thing ever. They should do this well, with all the guns. It's like it makes hack. sense that you would think that, large because of the AMD 64. I know. That's why I said it. I thought that was a Commodore 64. That was also there, a thing. <laughs> that That's a thing. I used to play this game called Cops and Robbers on that. It was like Pac-Man. You were a cop picking up the robber's money sacks. Okay, I'm not a robber? What's this called? We don't want to get sued. You are picking up men's sacks, I say. That sounds homosexual. Why were you at 11. picking up their sacks for? Here, I'm going to bail out of here and go to bed. You sound tired. Dude, you always sound like you're about to fucking pass out. Are you okay? Do you need, like, vitamin D or something? He works for a living. He doesn't work. <laughs> he just sits home all day chewing his cud. It's a self-addiction. You work harder than I do. 
All right, Bama, you have a good night, buddy. Yeah, take it easy, Bama. Nah, Sweet dreams, Bama. Later, kitty cat. Dream of me. Oh. So sad the lies. Poor kitty. Freedom kitty out. Freedom kitty have left. We are freedom kittyless. It is a sad day. Are you still looking at one of them CZ 99s? Was that what it was called? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool looking gun. There's a. I don't know if you know who Hornet Fixer is on YouTube, but he has a gun channel, and he just showed a video with the EZ9. The Staba. Looks pretty cool. It's like a SIG clone. It's the same thing as the CZ99. Mm. Yeah, 999. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at this uh, Zastava. I'm also looking at this Zastava M88A compact 9mm. It's a Tokarev type pistol. Yep. Hey, For $259. That's pretty uh, fucking cheap. That sounds pretty sweet. Regular 9x19? Uh, it is. I'm looking now. Uh, it does not specify. Let me see. Hey, salt pork. I forget which which side of this does the big hole go on for these pins? Which side of the hole do you put it in? <laughs> put a little hair on it. Front one. <laughs> Wait, which which pins are you talking about? You're talking about the trigger. The the trigger pin. Um. Where on which side of your receiver actually has the detent, the X and the Y? Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking, but you know. Yep. Brain farts. Yeah, I understand, man. Actually, this is pretty nice too. This Turkish made Stingray C pistol, nine millimeter. It's a chrome finish, semi auto, fifteen plus one, so it actually holds the legal limit in my state, and it looks kind of nice, and it's not too expensive. Green chair. Yeah, I'm gonna link you to it now. There you go. Bang. Three seventy nine. Let me check that out. It's kind of neat looking. Looks like something EAA would market. Oh yeah. It's definitely a CZ design. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the slide design is. Yeah. You know what that looks like? That looks like uh, USMC Mike's. CZ40 compact. Crane looks like something from Tangfolio. Is the grip shape? Uh, I would buy it. 379. That's not bad. No. Yeah, I like the uh, CZ999. Nice no back sights on it. 350. And they have That's a Bulgarian-made Arcus 98D. I never heard of the Arcus, but that's a nine millimeter. Heavy safety and slide release. And anti-capable uh, magazine release. Yeah, this this uh, CZ triple nine and nine millimeter is the one I'm actually looking at. This is the one I really want to get for three fifty. It's just a nice oh, looking yeah. piece. Yeah. yeah. This one, I just like the way that, it just. It's a nice looking. It's, it's nice. a Sig. It's basically a Sig copy. Yeah. I would say it, it does look a lot like my uh, like the my gun. That's an all metal frame, though, right? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Here's the other one you were talking about. The Turkish. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at before. Yeah. That one looks cool. It's a compact. I'm not really big into compacts because I have big fucking hands, but... I so, might have to save that link. <laughs> yeah, it's All nice. Right. Don't know yet. Still, uh... Saving up though, so I have money to spend eventually, and I'll buy one of these fuckers. <coughs> Don't know yet. 
handguns are fun because they're more challenging, I think. Recreationally speaking. I'm gonna get a... Uh... Can somebody explain what I'm watching? You're watching seven dudes sit around talking about absolutely fucking nothing live on the air on the YouTubes. That's exactly you know, what talking, it is. You're watching two or three guys sitting around talking about nothing and the rest just staring. Yes, <laughs> two or three guys talking about absolutely nothing, the rest of them staring longingly into their camera. <laughs> That's freaky. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. That's freaky, huh? <laughs> Is it freaky, turtle? Is it? It puts the lotion on its skin. It puts the lotion on its skin or gets the hose again. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, but somebody might be watching me drill holes in my receiver. No, Wilson, don't try that. It's not going to work. How long has that been up there? <laughs> Just check the site, Jim. My shotgun away. Put that shotgun away. What I'm doing. And by away, I mean on a different wall. <laughs> What are you doing like an asshole? Mute your fucking mic. Captain. Apparently, brain cells came out with his hair. I don't believe it. Deafened my shit. Tell Lars to look at the Sark 2P 9mm. I don't know what a Sark 2P is, but okay. Did I forget to mute myself again? Yes, you did, ass monkey. I've heard of it. Oh, it doesn't look bad, but... Uh... Here, this is... This is what they're talking about. That's okay. A... Eesh. Looks it's like a, a Caltech little... married a CZ and made an ugly baby. Yeah, it's a little, uh... Yeah. It's not an attractive gun. No, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it looks like a, it looks like a taser that shoots bullets. As far as I'm <laughs> concerned, the barrel should never be shorter than the grip. It looks very <laughs> weird. Yeah, I probably wouldn't buy that. It does look like a little bit of an offshoot of the... Uh, 228. Yeah. That is the disgrace to the 228. <laughs> Are you sticking with the 9mm? Yeah, I'm going with 9mm. I mean, I have no opposition to going with 40. It's but expensive. I prefer 9mm only because it is a cheaper ammunition. And you're like, well, 9mm. If, if you can hurt. find it. Well, yeah, it, but that's with any ammunition. I mean, there's always a question of if you can find it. Plus, it doesn't hurt people. Yeah, apparently 9mm doesn't kill anybody. <laughs> it bounces off. But the thing is, like, people are like, well, you know, 9mm is not good for carry. Well, here's the thing. I can't carry anyway, so what the fuck's the difference? I don't have a problem with it. Even if 9mm was, like, pillow around and it, like, lulled people to sleep and it crashed into their skull, fine. I still can't carry the gun anyway, so it's not like it makes a difference. I'd carry a nine. Yeah, if you just go into the range yeah. for planking, nine oh, millimeter can. is perfect. Yeah, I can't carry the gun legally yet, although there's talk of the New Jersey Supreme Court reconsidering that soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving so I can carry, but I'm no planning well, to get a nine the New to carry. Supreme Court has a scheduled date to meet with a gun, a pro guns attorney, and it's the first time they're doing it in like 45 years, where they've actually allowed a case to be heard against the justifiable need clause of our concealed carry laws in this state. Never gonna happen. Well, no, but at least it's better than them saying, no, we don't want to hear it. At least now they're actually listening, so. Whether they actually do anything about it is another question. But take what I can get at this point. Yeah, I'm just moving. If everybody just moves out of California, they can bankrupt the state. Then it would just be a big Hollywood. 
Well, I was thinking of moving out of Jersey and moving to uh, Illinois because that's I heard they do pretty well with <laughs> gun laws. So. Yeah. Move to Maryland. Maryland, yeah. yeah. Maryland's doing pretty well for themselves. You know what's funny, we, Turtle? What was it? We were, at, we were at the we were at the the range when we were camping, and yep. uh, when the when the, the noise complaint came in, and everybody was like panicking, like, "Oh God, oh God, okay, take the gun off your shoulder." I'm like, "Guys, you're on private property. You can have a gun <laughs> over your shoulder. It didn't matter." Everybody's so panicky in Maryland. I can understand, but Jesus. You, can oh, oh, you mean when the police rolled up? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of out of courtesy and just the guy didn't crack his well, pants. Like, There's 15 me, armed been, guys there when he I rolled up. I would have walked right up with the gun over my shoulder, just slung over my shoulder. What's up, officer? Like, I'm allowed. It's my fucking property, dude. Courtesy. That's on point. I'm not pointing it at him. Uh, I know. It, it, everybody's so scared. It's, you know, the media and everybody. It's just... He's walking up to you. Let's put it this way. He's walking up to you with the gun on his hip. True. So I was thinking about that. With the gun on your hip, on your property. I was watching that guy in Oregon with the AR-15 open carrying. I was thinking about that. All these cops walking up have guns on their hips. And they're civilians, last I checked. Well, they're above the law. Oh, okay. badges don't grant extra rights, though. Yep. So... Try sure, I'll, be, I'll, I'll obey the law, and I will not open carry or conceal carry without a permit. But on my property, I will. If I ever, if I get a handgun, even though I don't, I live on a very, very small piece of property. I will always have that gun on me, even as long as I'm on my property. Because if a cop shows up for any reason, there it is. He's like, well, what, "What are you doing with that? Well, what are you doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> you're on my property, and you're you're carrying a gun onto my property. Did I say you could do that? No. Well, then." Well, that seems to be okay. Well, then this is okay. You don't need no Fourth Amendment. <laughs> Which is odd. Like a, a police officer could just stroll onto your property, ring your doorbell. Meanwhile, he's carrying a loaded firearm onto your property. You're like, excuse me. <laughs> I'll leave that in the car, please. <laughs> this is a gun-free zone. Yeah. This is a gun-free zone. As long as I don't own the gun, it's not allowed here. Unless you... Let's check the TeamSpeak chat. Okay, one second. Uh, yeah. New Jersey gun call limits. No, that's the appeals court. They're going to the Supreme Court. It says the New Jersey gun carrying limits upheld, but that's the gun carrying limits. The the Supreme Court, the New Jersey Supreme Court is listening, not the appeals court. That was old. Somebody so saying I can't show my face. Go back on my channel and watch other chats. You can see my fucking face. <laughs> if you really want to. One ice stick, yeah. Okay, you really know what you're talking about. So what do you think about the uh, uh, CIA bullshit? CIA bullshit? There's some something about Congress wants to investigate why the CIA was in Benghazi or whatever. We're not gonna get a, get started on Benghazi again, are we? No, not not really. It's just the only current event I heard today. <laughs> Yeah, there's all kinds of little nuggets of information coming out here and there, and not just from one news source. They're coming out, you know, CNN had this little piece here, and hey. so it's start. It's starting to look eh, not so good. It's starting to look a little shady. Just saying. <laughs> well, well, I think we should a, give this guy a link. <laughs> Who? Oh. Another troll. What, one ice stick? Yeah. Can't even show your face. What are you talking about? <laughs> he face. clearly has an opinion. Read, read his previous comment. Yeah. Pussy's gonna move so he can carry a gun. Yes! 
Yes. Uh, he's talking about you. Talking about me. Oh. Oh well. Yeah. Used to be able to carry one in California. They've outlawed that since I've been here. There's some parts of California you can still carry. Holy shit, who the fuck Whoa. is this motherfucker? Who <laughs> is this sardonic motherfucker? Hey guys. It's Bullfrog! Hey. <laughs> Someone hey, got Bulldog's account. Bulldog, where the fuck have you been? Long story, don't really want to say on air. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. No Are limbs missing? Yep. What? No limbs missing? No limbs missing. Still got all your eyes? Yes. Good. Glad you teeth. Worried. Teeth and eyes, hands, fingertips, toes. You can count to 20, no problem. Yes, criminal, I'm fine. Criminal record. No criminal right, look, record. I don't mean to sound like, you know, look, you haven't heard from me in a couple of fucking months. Fine. You know what? Screw you. I'm ho I hope something bad happened to your hands. <laughs> Is the penicillin working? Is the penicillin working? Is the itching and burning gone? Uh, he got shot with a 54R. He's fine now. <laughs> All right, he's good. Oh yes, yes, and I cured him. Well, I'm glad you're doing good, Bulldog. Doing well, I should say. Pardon my English. Pardon. I'm glad you're doing well. What uh, do I miss? You don't need to cover the fact you don't speak English. What have you You're missed? Right. You've missed quite a bit, actually. We will catch you up in an off-air chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing you want to air right now. Just like you don't well, want to air. I, can, I will say I, I am coming back, but I'm. It's going to be in and out. Can't say I can stay on a chat for a whole time. I mean, I am going to be busy as all hell. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, at least you're still alive and doing well. That's all I care about. Good to see you. I'm not your therapist. Good to see your icon. <laughs> is, your, is your hair still poofy? Is, no, my hair has been cut a little shorter. Oh, shit. Did you shave your head? No, it's not is shaved. Is it still copper? Copper. Is it copper? See, the thing is, well, though, we missed you because we've been picking on Casey all this time, and it's no fun because he just takes it. Oh. Uh. We say, fu we say, fuck you, Casey, and he goes, I know. We're like, oh, no. <laughs> By the way, I'm where? sorry. Is Casey not any fun to pick on? He's not. And that's a really good point, Lars. So, we needed we needed the ginger back, and no one else could fill that role of the, the resident ginger. They're all like, I'm not a ginger, and they're not. And it's like, we tried to pick on Hosh for a bit, but he's too California. So it's California. like... It didn't, so, all right. Well, glad you're all right. Tell Bulldog check out my thirty round mags on my, in my M nine A one T he from Rebecca Vaughn. Oh, uh, I have not seen anything about that, but I did see her Dodge Challenger. Yeah. Lucky. Sweet, isn't it? Now. I would have rather had it in a different color than purple, but it's still a very nice car. It's plum crazy. Yeah. I've always wanted one of those cars. Poor yep. <laughs> turtle. Somebody threw a life raft into a casserole and rescued Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, so I disappear for like 15 minutes, and Bulldog shows up. What the yep. fuck? Yep. That's kind of the way we were reacting. I always, I always have surprises on yeah. my Friday night trip. Yeah, a little bit of surprise. Surprise guests. I premiered Yankees bald head once. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. I'm trying to read this article. I'm sorry if I'm not contributing. Oh, that's okay. Now they even stopped calling me Bulldog's dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hosh got his compy back. Got his what? Compy. There you go. Uh, 
Hosh. Chat window warrior Hosh. There he is. Holy shit. Hosh. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. What's up, guys? (laughs) (laughs) So what was wrong with the... Any bags of alcohol tonight? What was wrong with the old computer? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I should go get the bag of alcohol. <laughs> no, you should not. Yes, I should. <laughs> get his mojitas over it. <laughs> just, just do this right in the bag. <laughs> so what was it? The power supply? The cord? What the fuck was it, man? Uh, I don't know what they did, but they did something. Did they tell you? Like we just hear magic box fix go. Like <laughs> no, they reset some stuff. The guy was talking about what he was doing, but I. I don't know that it was hardware, so we'll see. If I mer- if I mysteriously disappear, then you probably know what's going probably on. Probably reset the parameter I, and stuff like that. Tested the we tested the hard the the power everything checked out. They let the thing run for like twenty four hours. Got some bulldogs. What the hell? That's awesome. If, if the internet cut out and came back on, we got too a new internet bulldogs. provider. Too many bulldogs. Too many. Too, black too many. <laughs> We'll keep the second one around for a couple seconds. <laughs> yeah, you pick on the second one. Oh, second one. no, it's too late. <laughs> You're picking on me now, you fucking ginger. <laughs> oh, man. It's like old times, only worse. <laughs> I don't know about the worst thing. We don't have federal legislation pending that would fuck all of us sideways when it comes That's to true. guns. That's true. I just have state legislation pending that's going to fuck me so And now I've heard about this shit where they're talking about repealing senior grail law in several states. I think they're doing that'll, something in Pennsylvania. That'll Trying ever happen. Fight any gunners. The hell was that? The, hell? the dog's got a new toy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yes. The corgis. No, you don't have corgis. What is it you have? Oh, it is recording. Argies. What am I looking? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Moon food. You got a little display going right there. Yeah, a little bit. We're pointing out the evil bullet, and then the not so evil bullet. And what makes about this evil one versus not evil? Well, this is the evil five five six. Evil five five six. Okay. That's okay. the. Child killer goes through schools. Right. The 54R, that's a hunting round. That's not so bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> AK, that doesn't get talked about a lot, but that's still evil. A little tiny 22. I don't know. That's a 22 Magnum? No, that's a uh, Stinger. Oh, okay, because it looked like it was tapered down. I, I, I'm not getting your in here full, kind of blurry. Yeah, I don't know. These chats are supposed to be HD now. <laughs> They're not. It's not working. <laughs> yeah, Google's laggy. Uh, the chats are not HD now. They're not. No. Well, and what you see also depends on your ISP and so on. Yeah, my my I see blurriness all around. Everybody's blurry. So blurry. Oh, so bad. Get everyone pretty clear. I'm not blurry. I've only had one beer. I haven't even finished it. (laughs) (laughs) Now I finished it. I need a drink. (laughs) I have some Heineken in the fridge. I don't know. Maybe I should go get my bag on. Do so. You already bought them. You might as well. I do need a fresh bag. Oh my god. Doesn't mean you have to do the mojito bag. Try one of the other ones. See no, how the birds are. I haven't froze them, so it's oh, it's relative. You know, you gotta you gotta freeze them. Well, then it's not relative. Just mix a fifth of booze with the bag of alcohol and put it in your giant sippy cup, and there we go. Oh, I can't do that. I'm going to go get my... Yeah, hold on. I'm going to get my bag on. Was that at a Walmart he got that?
What was that? Was that at a Walmart he got those bags? I, uh, no, it was a Sam's Club. Oh, Sam's Club. Same day. Yeah. You know, I read somewhere that if uh, when the zombie apocalypse happens, to go hide at the Sam's Club, they got a concrete walls and plenty of food and water, and you have to have a membership to enter. Plenty of toilet paper, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's my membership. <laughs> Just climb up to the top shelf, they'll never find you. I think that's where everybody will head to their nearest Walmart. No, I mean Sam's Club or Costco. You go up on the very top shelf, nobody can see that shit. It's because it's like a warehouse. We just live on the top shelves. <laughs> New housing for homeless people. Oh, boy. So, Turtle, you should get, uh, before they ban it in your state, you need to get an AK pistol. That's what you should be looking at next. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the pistols, to be honest. No? No, I mean, I built an AR pistol. It's black. And, I mean, it was a great little range gun, but not very practical. But it's black. So is an AR. I'll just and stick with an gun. AR and AK. Yeah, that, I mean, they're great. I mean, they're freaking loud, but they're not practical. Either an AR pistol. <laughs> yeah. No, I need to get another couple of AKs. You huh. should try building one. Maybe. So sweet Jesus. Can you like, I, uh, buy a bunch of parts kits and then build them after the law? I am yeah, just... not sure. I think so. I mean, as far as an AR, if you if you own the lower receiver before October 1st, or at least have the paperwork in for it, um, then you can build whatever you want after that. Okay. AKs will be the same way. As Probably, long as you have yeah. the receivers and they're registered, it, you can not have any parts kits and just own part. like 50 receivers and you'll be fine. Sweet. It's an option. If I get anything else before the ban, it'll be an AK. I've already got a few ARs. You should buy yourself another one, Turtle. You should buy yourself an FAL. Oh, I would love an FAL. <laughs> FAL yep. parts kit, maybe? They're kind of pricey, though. The only firearm I've gotten since I was gone was a Makarov. Yeah, FAL. Did you see uh, Northworks chat on the Makarov round the other day? No. It was a fancy little history lesson. Yeah. Little is the right word. What were you trying to say? You got a more in-depth version of it coming out, right? Or uh, eventually, yeah, I'll actually go way more in-depth with it, but I'm actually going to break it up and make it a series. So it, it doesn't really work for the hangout method. So that's more of an actual like. Yeah. creating a multi-part series talking about really dry, boring shit that most people are not going to be that into. How did you guys like that uh, AK build Jacob did? Didn't watch it. Some of us were there. Yeah, he did Turtle. a good job. He did a good job. I missed a good chunk of it, but he did a good job, all things considered. So, It was his first, and he did it in, what, like three hours? So, yeah. yeah. He did well. He really did. It came out looking like an AK, so... Yeah, exactly. The rest will work itself out when you shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went from never wanting to build one to maybe I'll possibly do that. AKs have a habit of fixing themselves after you shoot them. Yeah, another common myth. <laughs> That's how you clean the AK. You just shoot another mag out of it. You still got to get your head spacing right and all that. I mean, you, your go no go stuff is still reality, but it Overrated. does work itself out. <laughs> Tolerance is like you know, do straighten out over time.
Good God, man. Later. Oh, right. Gosh, she's doing it. Yeah, I've got... What flavor is that? Oh, it's still the mojito. Oh, God, man, why? <laughs> Desperation. <laughs> That's the mint one, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So... So after the after the video, I went back to the sub the freezer and I cranked down the, the cooling even further, and that has significantly changed things. So for the better. I mean, okay. it still tastes like gum, but the mojito master really. <laughs> <laughs> it's like full slushy. All right. So it wasn't cold enough. Is what you're saying? So the yeah. person's typical freezer isn't cold enough to do that. I mean, no, I, I've got I've got a sub zero freezer, so That's what but I don't leave it I don't leave it sub zero unless I have like a large quantity of meat that I gotta keep cold. So um, it was it wasn't set to as cold as it probably should have been. But then at the same time, you're not gonna get that level of like freeze from your regular kitchen freezer, unless you crank that thing way lower. So not only is it thirty dollars, you've got your power consumption's gonna go up too, because you gotta keep this thing cold as hell. So anyway, so, so it tastes does it taste any better? It tastes colder. That's no. it. Okay, so things taste. That helps. Better. The colder things are, the less they taste like anything. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yep, them those taste buds. That's why you serve white wine cold. It tastes like shit. Uh, white wine generally, white wine tastes like shit. Yeah. It tastes like grass and oak. Yeah. That's why people do Jaeger cold, but I don't. I'll do it cold or warm. Room temperature. People do Jaeger because they hate themselves. <laughs> I had Jaeger once, and that was it. Never it really only one that time. bad. Yeah, I'll drink the hell out of Jaeger. Jaeger, Jaeger is awful. Of self -loving. <laughs> <laughs> I've had Jaeger and Red Bull a few times. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger yeah, bombs. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs. Okay. Jaeger Jager is, bombs. might as well just smack yourself in the head with a mallet. You know Jaeger bombs, right, Lars? Come on, you're from Jersey. I know of them. I would rather <laughs> drink Jägermeister than what Hosh has in that glass right now. Oh, agreed. Oh, I totally rather have Jägermeister right now. That's all I used to buy is a bottle of Jaeger and a 12-pack of Yingling for the weekend. Yeah. I'll stick to whiskey or tequila. But then I moved on up to Heineken. Moving on up. Strong I got addicted. Oh, strong okay. I don't drink that much anymore. <laughs> Why is it not muting me when I say? No, it's not actually, because I don't think Linux has the capacity to do that. <laughs> what? It doesn't do the automatic, oh, you're pressing the key, therefore you're typing. No, Linux, Linux doesn't do that. It's actually Who's on triggering this? on the sound, I am. Ah. So it's actually triggering on the sound and not very well, then. Yeah. Get the last of that mojito. Come on, you can do it. Chug, chug, chug. Mojito in a bag. Why are you putting the glass? Just suck on the bag. It doesn't. It because it's really. I don't cold. want to see him sucking on things. It's really cold, man. It's like freezing my hands. You just need a straw and drink it like a. No, but you can't even do the straw right now. It's so thick. Like it is legit, like thick and frosty. <laughs> they drew alcohol slushy. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I, okay, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that the margarita, the strawberry margarita, is going to be better, and the wine, um, slushy with the brandy is going to be probably the best. I just I frozen favorite. strawberries in my freezer, and now I want to make a margarita. Yeah, dude. Frozen strawberries are like the legit way of making a margarita. Take that, some ice, and some tequila in my Vitamix. Fuck yeah. Oh, do you have a Vitamix? 
Yeah, I love that thing. Yeah, dude, Use the hell out of it. Best. That is the uh, what? What do they call that? The um, Master Vitamix Race. That's a fucking six hundred dollar blender. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's what insane. It makes everything smooth. You can blend anything into a consistency that is like perfect. It's amazing. Plus, you Not can put only that, but you can make like flour and shit with it too. Yeah, you can put soup in there, and if you just leave it for like five minutes, it'll come out hot. Exactly. Because it's spinning so goddamn fast. What kind of Vitamix is definitely worth it. Like a Slurpee? Whatever you want. In different settings? Yep. It's like what all other blenders aspire to be. You know, like how bl like Blendtec, the will it blend thing. Like that's a nice blender, but the Vitamix kicks that thing ass. Yeah, I don't like the Blendtec for a few reasons. Like the digital controls, the uh, low end RPMs are a little too high, like comparative to the Vitamix. And a few yeah, other things. anything with a screen on it that's gonna get wet <laughs> is probably not good. Are there any, like, cool questions or anything, or any topics? The comment that the uh, Hulk Fork posted in here was pretty cool. About the it's 1945 Mercury Dime inside the M1 carbine. Oh, uh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it'd be cool to know the story behind that. It might have just been for betting. Could have been, or someone's good luck charm or something. Oh, maybe. And they just jammed a dime in there. But 45 would have meant the end of the war. Well, the M1s were also issued during um, Vietnam and Korea, so you never know. Oh, yeah. Korea, for sure, yeah. So I think it was... The, but, but most of them have been upgraded to the M2s and M3s, but by the time that they get back on the civilian market, they're put back to the M1 configuration. So, never know. You can generally tell because you'll see the cutout in the stock where the selector would be if it used to be an M2 or M3. <laughs> you dispose of a body in said blender. What? War Turtle. Else? Going, going back to our discussion on blenders, he said, but can you dispose of a body? I get a big enough blender. Well, that's why you have all your pigs, right? Everybody keeps pigs. They're prepping pigs. But no, you don't use a blender. You use pig. a wood chipper. Haven't you seen Largo? Fargo? Largo. <laughs> Fargo. Largo. Brain, brain fart. I, I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> I heard you. Momentary brain fart. Heard you. Largo's the bad guy in Thunderball. Who's the actor in Fargo at? Uh, which Trains. one? William H. Macy. William H. Macy, yeah. My deal, Wade? That's my deal, Wade? I actually made him my Facebook picture for a while. <laughs> People were like, oh, weirded out by it. You're not William H. Macy. <laughs> You're not the real him, are you? Oh my god, really? Is that you, William H. Macy? Uh... Then you come out with your voice, uh huh, it's me, I'm William H. Macy. <laughs> He does a good job on a good job on Shameless. I like I him as an actor. Well, I haven't seen that show, but somebody at work keeps telling me about it. It's supposed to be nuts. He was the best as the watcher watch in Mystery Men. What show are we talking about? The Shoveler. The Shoveler <laughs> from Mystery Men. Yeah. We have a blind date with destiny. It looks like she ordered the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite character in that one was still the spleen. Which one? The spleen. The spleen. <laughs> I like the blue Raja. <laughs> the blue Raja. The, blue Raja. Um, the actual heroes, he was probably my favorite. The blue Raja. The forks like a motherfucker. <laughs>
Or the Sphinx through Forks or some shit? Or, or no, that, that was, was the Blue that Raja. That was Blue Raja. Where did the Sphinx I, lo- I love the end where uh, his mom gives him the good silver. He gives him... But mother, you need these... Mr. We're going to end the broadcast in about two minutes. Thank God. I mean... Uh, <laughs> okay. He's Are you drinking so a well, screwdriver? Well, it's always I'm sorry, what's all pork? Are you drinking a screwdriver? Yes. You held up the Kettle One vodka, and you're sitting there with what looks like orange juice, so I'm just like, mm, yeah, I kind of think that's a screwdriver. It's mostly orange juice, a little, like a splash of vodka. Yep. I don't really are, are, are you going to share? No. Most people, when they, when they make a screwdriver, like they fill the glass up with vodka like this fucking tall, and they put a splash of fucking orange juice. I'm like, that is not a yes. screwdriver. That is yes. orange juice colored <laughs> vodka. That is, that is to throw people off of the trail. Speaking of vodka, Bulldog, in your part of Texas, how hard is it to find actual liquor? Actual liquor? Like, you know, a store that can sell it. Uh, they're everywhere. In Texas, okay. it's easy. Well, well, it I, depends what part of Texas, because some counties and, and cities oh, okay. are okay, still like dry, right. so you can buy, like, beer and wine in some places, but not hard At, at any given moment, you're within a mile of a liquor store. But, like, where I am, I have to drive down to, you know, just off the freeway in Fort Worth, about five miles from here, to find any place I can buy hard liquor. I think I have a liquor store in my basement. They're <sighs> everywhere around here. See, I'm used to California, where it's like every grocery store you can yeah. buy anything. It's because you have to get those people around in these coastal states to drink themselves to oblivion, to fool themselves to believing that where they live is a nice place. Like, that's great here. I stepped out to go to the... Store, yeah. yeah, I stepped out to go to the gas station a few minutes ago, and they sell bottles of liquor, and I don't mean like, ooh, the little single shots. I mean like a fifth of liquor. They actually mm-hmm. have a little liquor locked liquor cabinet in the gas station. Yeah, they have that in California too. There, we got that everywhere. There's a diner near me with a liquor license. A diner, like not a restaurant. It's like they got the countertop, they have the cakes in the display case, and a bar. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. It's fucking weird. The pizza place within walking distance of me has a bunch of beer on tap and no liquor. Yeah, I, I, stores like right down the road from it though. Beer and beef, beer and beef pizza just goes together. You should have a fucking yeah, liquor store with pizza place. Yeah, that, if, in fact, if you are talking about a business license to open up a pizza place, it it should just come as part of the package. Just like yeah, oh, your, your business license, your pizza place. Okay, here's your here's your license. Just go. Liquor in license. In California, they make a distinction between a beer license and a liquor license. And they're two very different things. It's much harder to get a liquor license than a beer license. And really, for a pizza place, you could probably just get the beer license and stop. You yeah. probably, that's it. And a, and a lot of restaurants are like that, too, where they're just, you know, serve beer with dinner or wine with dinner. But yeah. They don't do cocktails. Significantly and easier to get. All right. And I do not know who this person is. Um, I just see an email. They left a comment on the, the Get Your Learn On with Salt Pork, the 9 by 18 one. And he is correct, because in my haste, I threw together that wonderful little slideshow. I incorrectly said that Fort Pistols are Hungarian. They are not. They are Ukrainian. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Someone corrected salt pork? So, yes. Because I can be wrong, too. Believe it or not. You're human? Mm-hmm. He is falling. thought you were Google. My world is falling apart. And the crazy part about it is I will actually call myself on that shit. So thank you, got M-I-T-U-N-S Alex. I will well, thumbs that. up your comment and reply to it. Thank you very much. You are correct, sir. Look at that. I came in to watch Salt Pork get corrected. Salt Pork got Salt Pork. All right, now, I love that picture of... Uh, Lieutenant Blender calls bullshit. Lieutenant Blender is so <laughs> the fucking remove kebab guy. That is so the same fucking guy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know that they did that on purpose, but I wonder if they have any idea. I don't think they do. I, they they probably blender, don't, really. but it is entirely possible that the graphic artist that came up with that logo does and did I it wanna, as a joke. I want to send something to their website, like send them the link to my that video I did, and be like, you you have your icon is somebody who like kills Serbs. 
Yeah, he has war crimes against him. Like, <laughs> he's a war criminal, and he looks like your mascot. Just so you know. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, we started this company in 2006. And be like, well, <laughs> uh, Remove Kebab, the song, is like from 96. 96. Yeah. Serbia Strong goes way back. Serbia Strong. <laughs> That's what that, that video is called. That song is called Serbia Strong. And on that note, we will end the broadcast. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, yep. everybody. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night.